Protect children from conflict. When children are exposed to conflict, it can have long-lasting negative impacts. I told you to reschedule. I can't miss work. What's more important, work or your son? Come on, how many soccer games have you been to this you year? You didn't come to the last parent-teacher conference. When kids experience conflict between parents, it isn't the child's fault, but they often feel guilty and blame themselves. It's completely normal to have conflict with your former partner, and it's easy to fall into the trap of forgetting your child is there while you're arguing. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, okay. It's best to discuss differences when your child is not present. But arguing is only one example of conflict. Well, it's best for your mom and I to live apart, but it has nothing to do with how much we both love you. Parents can avoid blaming each other in front of their children. We can do it again real soon. Parents don't have to ask their kids to keep secrets. I'm glad you had such a good time with your mom. Parents can show respect for the other parent. The best thing for your child is for you to find something positive to say about the other parent, even when it's hard. Watch the movies with Justin. Oh. What did you go see? Surf Pantos 3. Was it funny? Parents don't have to put their kids in a tough spot by quizzing them about the other parent, even when they really want to know. Hey, can I talk to your mom when you're done? Communicating with a former partner about parenting is the adult's responsibility, not the child's. But what do you think about on Friday if you came back over here and we did another Thanksgiving with Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah. Parents can't avoid making their children choose sides. Feeling frustrated and experiencing conflict with your former partner is common, but children don't need to be drawn into it. Protecting them from anger and conflict will keep them happier and healthier.